welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome my name is Meg I do put out videos a couple times a week so if you are not subscribed maybe you'll consider doing so and that way you won't miss out on my new content and then also if you are subscribed or you're going to make sure you hit the bell notification that's up there that way you're notified when my new videos are live so this video is going up a little bit late because I moved and in the midst of moving I forgot to update my address so I got my ipsy bag a little later this month but luckily it was forwarded to me and if that wasn't the case I was in contact with ipsy and they were willing to send me a replacement bag so um, again I just had a really excellent experience with their customer service I really think that it's one of the best customer services um, that I've worked with in the past several years so if you guys are not familiar with Ipsy or what they're about, I have a little splurge in the down bar along with a link for you guys to check out. There's also discount codes and where else you can find me on social platforms down there as well. So make sure you're always looking in the down bar. Let's go ahead and get into January's bag. So the theme of this month's bag is Metropolis and they do have four new Ipsy creators that they brought on this year. So I'm excited to see more from them. And this is what January's bag looks like. It's very gun, metal, and city-esque. Very urban looking, I guess you could say. So it fits the theme. First thing I am pulling out. Ooh, it's a nail polish. So this is from the Ciate collection. And this is the Geology Top Coat. And I'm excited to have this. I really do like the formula of their nail polishes. Um, the color that I have on my nails now is the Ciate Nail Polish. I don't know the name off the top of my head because I have it in the other room. Um, but it does last a while. I've had this on for about a week and it's just now starting to chip. So I'm excited to see um, what the top coat does in prolonging the wear of the polish. Okay, next. This is from Pure Lease. And it says prevent blue lotus seed mud mask and exfoliant. I love masks, especially mud mask and exfoliating masks. I have really dry skin. Um, I also have bigger pores, so I feel like the mud mask helps shrink the pores, and the exfoliator will help get all that dry skin out of here. And it just says uh, gently resurfaces, detoxifies, brightens, tightens, and smooths. It's a 10 minute facial for all skin types and sensitive skin types, which is perfect because I have really sensitive skin. So the benefits say that the Blue Lotus extract is a powerful antioxidant known for its anti-inflammatory benefits which is great because I feel like I do get a lot of redness on my face. White clay tightens skin and purifies pores, also awesome. Bamboo improves skin texture. I've also been having issues with texture like on my under eye area. I think it was the eye cream I was using because once I stopped using it, the texture kind of went away, so that kind of sucked. Um, ginger detoxifies, mushroom extract helps to brighten skin tone, white tea will soothe your skin, and rice bran water improves skin texture. So basically, you just want to start with clean skin, apply a thin layer to your face, neck, and chest. Let set and dry for 10 to 15 minutes. Remove with water in a gentle circular motion to exfoliate and use two to three times a week. I'm so excited to test this out. I love getting a skincare product for my Ipsy bags. Ooh, a Naked Cosmetics pigment, and this is in Desert Sunset. This looks like one I already have from them. Let me see. Almost similar on the left is Sierra Nevada and right here is desert sand so definitely more copper tone than Sierra Nevada I like these little stacks so I'm excited to try this out and I got the Bahama Mama bronzer by the balm so I love these little sample sizes too because they can you can also use them um, as eyeshadow it would be difficult to sort of get a brush in here, but it is doable. I saw some people complaining about that, but you can totally make it work. And then here is a swatch of the bronzer. So this looks like it would just, this looks perfect for my skin tone, and it looks like it would just add a subtle shadow. So I'm excited to try this out. And the last thing in here is a brush. I love getting brushes. And this is from Butte Basics. It's like a nice little angled brush that you could use for contour is probably what I'm going to use it for. You could also use it for blush and then I'm sure you can use it for highlight if you wanted to. But it just looks like it's the perfect. Ooh, and it has a little place for your thumb. I like that. This looks like it would be perfect to really define a contour if you didn't want to be super bronzy. So yeah, excited about this. 
And that wraps it up for everything I got in my bag this month. Um, overall, I'm pretty excited for all the products. I can't really say I'm disappointed about anything that I got. Um, the key to Ipsy is going on every month and rating your bag and letting them know like what products you want more of, what products you're kind of tired of getting. So that's what I've been doing and I've been pretty satisfied with my bags over the last several months. So if you're having issues, try that. Anyway, that is going to wrap it up for today. Check out some of my other videos. Again, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.